Hello everyone, this is another video from Easy Electric Series and today we will learn how we could uh, uh, use three laser distance measurement sensor with Arduino Macro. So as you can see I set up here three uh, laser distance sensors. I have the Macro controller and you are able to see the distance of the sensor which each of them has its own name. I call this X1, X2 and X3. If you take a look to the left side of your screen, I actually uh, printed their value on the serial port and you see you are able to see on the left side of your, of your screen, which is X1, 2 and 3. So let's let see how it works. So now I have a ruler here which somehow I able to measure the distance from this sensor to any distance that we want to put our obstacle. So let me start with the 10 centimeters. So right now I put on the 10, take a look to the number. So see the old 3x1 and x3 which is the data from 3 sensor. So they are close to the 10. So the, the reason is they are not actually exactly the same, so they are not in line in the one line. So one of them is actually a little forward or backward, that's the reason you see the uh, change, the little change in their number. But they are close. So let's to go to the next distance. I put the obstacle here around uh, 14. Take a look to the numbers that you have close to the 14. Let's to go to the... Uh, I move to the around 18 so you see the number is around the 18 go further so here I'm in around 23 centimeter so you see that's actually around 23 centimeter so even you could actually back here and have another test around the 9 and now right now I'm on the 9 centimeter and you see the old tree able to read the distance between the sensor and the obstacle that you put in front of them. So definitely you could use this in your uh, robot, so obstacle avoid robot, you could add these three sensors in three section of your robot and somehow you you're able to get the data from distance of the robot between the walls that you have. So what I have here, so these three that you see is TOF101 zero laser distance measurement sensor which each of them need the SDA and SCL uh, port to connect it to the macro controller so the macro that I use it is a small it's that not keep taking too much space but the problem is it just has one SDA and one SCL so that means you need three of them but you have just two p one SCL and uh, STL or somehow you have just one I2C bus. So for fix the problem you actually use these uh, I2C multiplexer ADA2717 so which is somehow you connect your SDE and SCH which is one in your uh, microcontroller to the uh, multiplexer and able to get too many uh, SDA and SCL. I think you could get from the 0 to 7 totally 8 so that means even you need more than a three sensor you which all of them needs one SCL STA so you could actually expand this to the 8 sensor which should be fine so let to just take a look to the uh, wiring here and see how we wire up these three components so let I just turn these uh, off. Okay. So as you can see here, you have uh, three sensors. So whatever you see in this side is your uh, uh, three sensors that you have. So you, you see the sensor number one, sensor number two, and sen sensor number three on the right. So here in this side, you have Arduino Macro, So which has already mentioned the Macro just have one STA and SCL. You just connect the STL SCL of the macro to STL SCL input of the multiplexer I2C so which is the number of the um, device ha is ADA2717. So what's happened here you actually your STA SCL 
somehow it's convert to seven of them so that means you could connect seven sensor for the output of these multiplexer that you have so what i did here i just connect my sensor one to the uh, sda scl1 in the multiplexer so sensor two to the sda2 and s CL2 and sensor 3 to the SDA3 and SCL3 so the all uh, just be careful on the sensor on TOF10120 laser distance sensor so the blue wire is SDA and the green is uh, SCL so the red color is 5 volt and the black is the ground so you don't need to use the other wires that you see on the sensor so the all 5 volt of the sensors plus the V in in the multiplexer connect to the 5 volt on the Arduino and also the old ground in the 3 sensors plus the ground of the multiplexer connect to the ground of the uh, ground of the uh, Arduino. So for the coding, so the coding if uh, you uh, check the laser sensor has its own library so you just easily able to uh, read the data of the one sensor so the only the, there is actually a lot of resources on the internet so you easily you could actually use that library to read the live stream of one data so the only change here you need to have so if I back to here to my code so you just need to have uh, this section you need to add this section which is somehow you are going to uh, add these lines for able to use the multiplexer so after you declare this which is it's just have one address for the multiplexer which is default is 0x70 you could change that with the three uh, pins that you have A0 to A2 on the multiplexer board but keep that uh, as, a, as a default if you want to do more complex work with that so this is the only things you need to add the rest is the similar the codes for using the uh, for using the JAWS uh, one sensor so the only difference whenever you have one sensor you just use the read distance but here each time you should somehow tell which of these sensors should be connected to the bus i2c bus so if you say tca 9548 it means the sensor number one should be connected to the i2c bus so if you say TC 9540A2, you are telling the sensor 2 is on the bus, and if you say 3, the uh, sensor number 3 is in the bus. And at the same time, you should actually change these read distance. It should be 1 for reading the X1, and X2 for reading the X2, and X3 for reading the X3. So back to the function, so just a minor changes you need. So the one thing whenever you are reading the sensor definitely you should say which sensor you are going to read. So that means you should have three sensor read function here for reading from each of them. So you just have sensor read one so which somehow say TC uh, A9540A1 which is somehow telling you the sensor one is on the bus and you are reading that data same way sensor sensor read two so then here you actually put the sensor two on the bus same thing for sensor three you put actually the sensor three on the bus whenever you want to read so the same for the uh, read distance so before you read you should actually put the that sensor on the bus then actually you are able to read so that means you should have three different uh, read distance one for each of them and the, in the beginning of this you should actually somehow tell which sensor should be on your bus because you just have one i2 c bus and you use the multiplexer somehow you should tell in your codes when or which of these three sensors is on the bus. 
So let to actually take a look to our uh, program. So again, so if you take a look to what we have, so we actually put three sensors. We use the I2C multiplexer because the macro has just one SDA and SCL pins. So, but here you need technically three of them to somehow interface three of them with your uh, macro controller. For that reason, you need these actually multiplexer to do that. So, I just uh, double check the circuit again. So, as you can see right now, there is nothing in front of them. I put, I, I have a ruler here, which is shows eight centimeter. I put the obstacle on the eight. So as you could see on the uh, left side of the screen, the all shows the close to eight. So if you go to the 15, right now on 15, all three actually shows the 15. And finally, I put on the 22 and all these uh, three sensor almost shows 22 centimeter. So I hope this video will be useful for you. Thank you for watching this video.